Gwinnett County Public Library has plenty of physical books spread throughout our branches, and with your library card, you'll also have access to a large library of ebooks and e-audiobooks. You can find all these resources and more by heading over to the digital resources page on our website. Comics Plus is the newest addition to the library's digital ebook collection. On the digital resources page, you'll find two icons. Comics Plus has comics and graphic novels for all ages. So if you're only looking for stories appropriate for younger readers, make sure to access the website through the Kids Collection link. With the General Adult Collection link, you'll be able to browse the Comics Plus entire catalog. After logging in with your library card number and PIN, popular titles and series like Big Nate will all be accessible to check out and download. You'll also find various manga, nonfiction titles, and comics in other languages. Comics Plus is also available on the Apple and Google Play app stores under the name Library Pass. Overdrive is a website housing a wide range of ebooks and audiobooks, though you may be more familiar with the associated mobile app, Libby, which is available on the Apple App Store, Google Play Store, and the Amazon App Store. Though they have different names, Overdrive and Libby share the same collection. Kids' books, graphic novels, and the latest bestsellers are all available. The easiest way to access either of these services is through the regular library catalog. If a book is available as an ebook or an electronic audiobook, you'll see these tabs listed ebook and e-audiobook respectively. Click the checkout button and another window will appear asking you how you'd like to access your new ebook. Heading over to the Libby app and you'll see that this ebook has automatically been added to my account. Using the Overdrive link on the library's digital resources page will take you to the Overdrive's own web catalog. Using Overdrive or Libby in this way requires you to select Gwinnett County Public Library as your organization and add your library card information. Don't worry, anything on the Overdrive site or the Libby app is also available through the main library catalog. If you're looking for more nonfiction resources, check out ebooks on EBSCOhost. Here you'll find high level titles on any topic you could think of, and in a dozen different languages. For example, looking up Georgia yields over a thousand results, ranging from politics, poetry, and economics. To start reading, all you have to do is click on the full text linked on the side. Don't worry about if it's HTML or PDF, that only refers to the file type and does not affect your ability to read in the browser. Those terms refer to the document's file type, which will only come into play if you plan to download a book. In that case, you'll also need to make a separate EBSCO account. Though the site is primarily for academic reading, there's still a sizable collection of fiction books to browse through. And there are also kids' books and comics for all ages. If you only wanted to see content for a specific age group, the simplest way to do this would be to use the Choose Database option on the main page. From there, you can either click on High School Collection or K-8 Collection. When you try to access Galileo from outside the library, you'll be taken to the screen instead of the Galileo website. Follow the link for the password and sign in with your library card number and PIN. Once you have the password, follow any of the links below to access Galileo. Find Gwinnett County Public Library in the search bar, then enter the password. Then just scroll down to EBSCO eBooks. Another great resource for students is Gale eBooks. You'll notice that there are seven links to Gale eBooks on our digital resources page, each with a different subheading. The one titled Virtual Reference Library has the complete collection of Gale eBooks, and the others are quick links to different subjects. As the name implies, everything in this virtual library is designed to help students learn more about certain topics. By default, books will be formatted like an article for easy readability, but you can always change the appearance by hitting the Book View button to the right of the search bar. And just a bit further and you'll see the Download button. Below that, there's some information about the book you've selected, letting you know how many pages it has in its difficulty level. To search books by difficulty, you can click on the Advanced Search link under the search bar when you're on the main page. Filters include Target Audience, Fontis and Pinnell Level, Accelerated Reading Level, and Lexile Measure. If you're familiar with the children's section of our libraries, you may have seen our collection of Vox Books. Vox Books have an attached device which reads the story out loud to help engage children and assist in the development of reading skills. You can also access these same titles with your computer or mobile device through iVox. When you click on the iVox icon from our digital resources page, you'll immediately be taken to the catalog of children's books. However, when you're outside of the library, there are a few more steps. If you want to access iVox from a mobile device, you'll have to download the app first from the Google Play, Amazon, or Apple App Store. 
When prompted, enter your zip code and select Gwinnett County Public Library. Then enter your library card number and PIN. Once you've chosen a title, the narrator will give you instructions on how to interact with the book. Move. Vox Publishing presents Abdul's Story by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow. For school-age readers, eRead Kids is another website for digital titles. The main page will show a small selection of both fiction and nonfiction books. To delve deeper into their catalog, use the side panel to browse by subject. Once you've found an ebook or an e-audiobook, you'll have the option to either check out or place a hold. In either case, you'll have to log in with your library card number and PIN. And if you want to be notified when the book is available, you'll also have to enter your own email address. Once you check out, you can start reading in a new tab. Clicking these three lines in the top left corner will reveal the menu, where you can save the book for offline access. This won't download the book to your computer, but if you bookmark the page, you can still access the title without an internet connection. Tumble Books is a great educational resource along with its supply of ebooks. When you click on a book, below the Read Online option, you'll see Quizzes and Book Report. Both of these options will lead you to practice tests pertaining to the book. Quizzes are multiple choice, while book reports have you writing out full answers. These are both great for improving reading comprehension, and combined with the ability to search for books by difficulty, they are ideal for at-home practice. Tumble Books has titles ranging from picture books, read-alongs, graphic novels, nonfiction books and videos, and novels ranging from early chapter books to unabridged classics. All of these are easily accessible from the row of colorful tabs near the top of the website. Clicking on the playlist button will take you to pre-made collections of a few books, usually with some overarching theme. Clicking on a playlist will tell you how long the playlist will take to complete. I hope you discovered something new about our digital resources and you're ready to start reading.